Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This report is an end-of-day report for trading on Monday, June the 27th, 2016. The market tried to recover from last week's Brexit vote and was unsuccessful in doing so. For most of the day, the pound sterling stayed down about 500 points all day. Um, the Dow stayed down about 200 points all day. And as you can see here, the central banks and their panic and nervousness did their best to keep the U.S. dollar propped up. This coincides with the Bitcoin as well being propped up, as you can see here, staying above the 640 line. It should also be noted that the U.S. dollar is at 96.55. Those of you who have been following and watching know that the U.S. dollar right before the Brexit vote hit 92 handle. And now here we are at 96.55. Amazing liquidity pump into the dollar to keep this market propped up. All the other currencies have been getting beat down. Even the, uh, the Aussie. Uh, has been red. The euro obviously has been beat down too. As you can see the manipulation has now taken a new level. Let me show you what I mean here. This here is the volatility index, the TVIX ETF and you're looking at an intraday chart. As you can see the market started off back here. This is um, back on Friday and now here we are today you know we spiked up on that vote Friday you know market came down here and you can see we just went you know tracking higher right here's what happened once we hit here around 10 a.m. the volatility index was held down all day long despite the Dow hitting a new intraday low then the Dow tested the low here the Dow was testing the low the VIX got attacked and was and, and and saw heavy selling, getting all the way down to the 322 handle, after rocketing up to 367 and 368, down to 322, just like that. It should be noted that only the volatility shares got hit. The VXX, the UVXY, and the TVIX all got hit. Even the the VIX futures took a hit while the Dow was hitting new lows then as soon as the four o'clock bell rings what happens they take their foot off the neck of the volatility shares and allow them to pop up to 371 on the TVX before settling to 354 as you see here incredible total manipulation at its finest the last bastion of hope is the volatility shares. As long as you can make it seem as if volatility is coming down and that panic is does not exist, then it will make people say, hmm, let me go ahead and start buying some shares. But that's not what happened. The, the, the Dow started to sell off into the close. And while that was happening, they had to beat down the volatility share because they knew this would have spiked through the roof. And then in the after hours shares, you don't have that many people actively trading. So then that's when they took their hand off of it and they let it shoot up. Meanwhile, they kept the dollar propped up and it's been a well-controlled demolition. It's almost as if this entire Brexit thing was planned from the beginning. There's no more liquidity that can be pumped into the stock market. There is absolutely nothing they can do at this point. You can't lower rates beyond zero because then you go negative and then that doesn't do anything to stimulate. Okay, and they've already tried that. It's not happening. Negative interest rates do not help to stimulate. You have to get some kind of return on your money. And so what happens people say you know I'm not going to put my money in the equity market and they pull it out and they try to find some kind of safe haven like gold and silver okay and the Bitcoin now take a look at what's been happening with the gold and silver 
here you are in the gold and silver. This gold and silver chart looks exactly like the volatility index to the T. Look at that. To the T. Almost looks like a duck with a bill. Look at that. To a T, it mimics the volatility index. This is gold. Look at this. Held it at bay. Would not let it do anything. Just held it at bay. Here's silver. Looks identical to the gold intraday. Identical. And here's our final proof of the manipulation. As you can see here, this is the VIX futures. And look at the chart. You saw the VIX futures. You saw the gold. You saw the silver. Identical chart. Price action identical. How do you explain that? This is the VIX futures. I showed you the T-VIX. What more proof do you need that the central banks have taken over and this is a controlled demolition? You've seen the VIX chart. You've seen the gold. You've seen the silver. I even showed you the Bitcoin. They all look identical. It's the same chart. Now look at the dollar. <laughs> These are all similar price patterns except for they put a little bit more um, into the dollar. So instead of it elongating out, it elongates out and then up a little bit. But it's the same chart pattern. They're all being held with the dollar. They're letting the dollar up while the other ones come down. Now explain that to me. The Dow is down several hundred dollars, almost a thousand dollars within, I mean, sorry, that's a dollars, almost within a thousand points in the last two days. And you have the dollar going up and gold and silver and Bitcoin and you have the volatility shares and the VIX futures, all the same pattern. That can only be done through manipulation at the switch level at the exchanges done by a central bank location either that or a multi-trillionaire you do the math you follow the money and figure it out moving on here's your oil oil just a steady decline steady decline it should be noted that when the oil was hitting $150 a barrel back in 2008, everyone and their mama was crying foul, saying you're collapsing the world economies with these high prices of oil. Something has to be done. And then right when they were ready, they pulled the plug and let the price collapse back down to $30, $40 a barrel. Well, same thing here. What do we do? We put our necks on the uh, we put our boots on the necks of Saudi Arabia until they agreed to play ball. We let the price collapse to levels that was just bankrupting the, the oil producing nations. And then when they finally agreed to sign and go into debt through the IMF and the World Bank and the central banking system, when they agreed to fall in line, we finally allowed the price to go up, but not that much now we're making it come back down again almost as if we lied to them after we made them sign these you know these debt agreements now look head fake psych we lied and now here's the price coming back down again unbelievable manipulation unbelievable unbelievable notice how your stock market is following the petrodollar <laughs> The Dow and the oil chart looks identical. The stock market is moving with the oil. They're allowing this well-designed, well-planned decline. Nothing out of the order, out of the ordinary. It's, it's, it's like marching in order, like little kids standing in line in the hallway, following a single-file line. This is what this is—a single-file line an orderly process they're doing this on purpose remember hurt as many people as possible alright so here's your 401k and your retirement being decimated before your eyes and there's nothing you can do about it because they made you afraid 
of the markets you were afraid to trade back in 2000 when the Nasdaq bubble popped and people lost their shirt because all they did was they were going long stocks they were never taught how to short stocks correctly so you, you were told to buy and hold and things of that nature so while the, the bubble was bursting in your face you held your shares until they dropped back down to zero Poor saps who bought uh, Yahoo at 23, watched it go to 300 and held it and didn't take profit. Watched their price drop below the entry price of $23 and you lost everything. And they will never get back up to that price again. It's too bad, too late. This is what they do. They screw as many people as possible who don't understand the game, who don't understand how to play the game. Yes, the markets are rigged. Shut up and stop crying about it and benefit from it. That doesn't stop you from going to Las Vegas, does it? We all know that Vegas is rigged. The house always wins in the end. But yet, thousands of people flock there and spend their money. So don't cry about something being rigged. We know sports are rigged. They're rigged in several different ways. Some athletes take steroids and, and all this enhancement drugs so that they can uh, perform better. But that still doesn't stop other people from competing against them. All right? You know that the other guy is way stronger and faster, but you still compete. And people still gamble and bet on the, those outcomes as well. So, yes, the markets are rigged. And they're not rigged in your favor if you are foolish and don't understand how to play the game learn how to play the game and you will profit if you refuse wisdom you will get smoked it's just how it how it is folks I will end the video with a surprising twist now I showed you a moment ago that the powers that be want to hurt as many people as possible and they want to trick the public into thinking that everything is okay post Brexit but it is not in the interim in the short term this is what they're going to do I have a volatility alert that says that we can see a rally in the Mike for this week we do not know the extent of the power of the so-called rally just that it's going to happen you cannot see that looking at this chart you can see nothing to buy here on this chart the algorithms have nothing to do with that they pick up what you can't see with your naked eye and I'm here to tell you to watch the sheet watch the crash alerts and watch the rally alerts for this week and see what happens those of you who've been following for the last several months, you have noticed and seen that those rally alerts and crash alerts are no joke. I warned you, I told you, you cannot ignore them. You ignore them at your own peril. So, what does this all mean to sum it all up? I believe that it's going to get a lot worse before it gets better. That's why they've been playing around and manipulating certain price action so that the public won't panic. So I believe that they have lost control, per se, of the market's overall direction. The only thing they can do is try to hide and mask things and lie and try to deceive the public. All day today on Bloomberg, they had Alan Greenspan on, talking. Why did you think Alan Greenspan spent the whole day on Bloomberg? You've never seen him on Bloomberg before prior to now. You've never even seen him on there for a whole day prior to now. The last time you saw his face is because he was in office. He was the chairman, the Fed chairman. He has been the Fed chairman now in, in years. Why is he on there? Why don't you have the current Fed chairman on there? You want to know why? Because Alan Greenspan is the embodiment of the market. Alan Greenspan was behind the wheel back in the go-go 90s with the Clinton administration where we saw the most incredible bull market ever of, of all time. So they bring him back because they know that a lot of the old heads which have all the money and control things will see that and it will give calmer minds. 
to see Mr. Greenspan on TV. Oh, yes. Oh, well, if he's on there, then everything is definitely okay. I can stop selling now. And I'm going to be fine. I'm going to start buying some shares. Meanwhile, what you don't understand and what you don't get is he's only there to try to quiet the storm. This is their last ditch effort. This is all they really can do. Once they, they know that once the people wake up and see that they're being lied to, they're going to dump every share they can get their hands on. They're going to go to cash. They don't want you to go to cash. They don't want you to suck your money out of the system. They don't want Dow 600. They want Dow 600,000. So as long as you guys continue to drink the Kool-Aid, that's what's going to happen. But understand, okay, you'll get your Dow 600,000, but in the blink of an eye, it's going to go to Dow 600. You're going to make them rich, and then they're going to dump it on your head. So keep your eyes and ears open. And remember, bulls make money, bears make money, but pigs get slaughtered. So take what you can and give nothing back.